Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today, I'm gonna to be breaking down the intro guitar solo to the Doc Watson version of Summertime. This is a great opportunity for you all to brush up on your minor blues scale. We're gonna be needing it in the open position. Okay, key of E minor. And also, here with the extension. We wanna be able to play that as well, root off of the A string. And then also root off the E string here on the 12th fret. Let's get started. We have a close look at the neck. We're gonna start off breaking down that first part of the intro guitar solo. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. All right, that first little section, we'll get up to this part. All right, all I'm doing is going down to blue scale in the key of E minor. I'm here on the B string, 11th fret. Descending down 11th fret, 10th fret, 8th fret. Then the 9th fret of the G string before bending the 10th fret of the B string. And slowly descending down. Try to limit the amount of string talk there. All right, so that sounds like this. All right, and then from there, we're going back to that G string, uh, ninth fret. From that eighth fret of the B string, so. All right, next we got the G string seventh fret. And we're gonna go back and forth between that seventh fret and the ninth fret of the D string. All right, that brings us to this. And there we are on the uh, the E notes. That's gonna be our root right there on the G string. All right, one more time. All right, the second lick of this section is gonna sound like this. We're just doing a little half step slide to the ninth fret of the G string. Then we're going to the eighth fret of the B string. Then up to the uh, the tenth fret of the B string and a big swoop and bend, and back to the eighth fret of the B string, and then a quick stop staccato note on the G string ninth fret. All right, that whole section's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. All right, moving on to section number two. It's gonna sound like this. All right, that first lick of the second section. I'll start here on the seventh fret of the high E string. Two kind of staccato notes. There we have the uh, tenth fret of the B string. Then to the eighth fret of the B string. And then on to the ninth fret of the G string. Before sliding up to the twelfth fret from the uh, tenth fret of the B string up to the twelfth fret. We're gonna uh, tap that note three times. On the third one, we're gonna give it a little bit of vibrato. Just like that. So that whole lick. One more time. And once more at full speed. All right, the next lick is gonna sound like this one more time. One more time. All right, so from there we're going, that's the uh, eighth fret of the B string to the 10th fret of the B string. Back and forth twice before bending up, swooping down, and then a hammer and a pull. Then we're gonna go to the uh, ninth fret of the G string, and then to the ninth fret of the D string, twice. 
right, that's just a kind of little piece of the original melody um, from the Gershwin version of it. All right, very similar. All right, so for our solo so far, we have sections one and two. Sounds like this. One, two, three, four. All right, moving on to section number three. This one's gonna sound like this. Okay, so there I'm doing a very similar lick to what I did in the last section. Seventh fret of the high E string. Twice, staccato. Then up to the ninth, uh, tenth fret of the B string. To the eighth fret of the B string to the ninth fret of the G string. And then finally we're gonna to go to the 10th fret of the B. He kind of tickles it just very lightly, so it was hard to hear it. Kind of the same approach that we had uh, to our first lick. Kind of add in the vibrato on uh, more aggressively as you go. Like that. All right, the next lick sounds like this. This is one of my favorite licks in uh, the whole solo, but it's very simple. So we're just sliding from the eighth fret of the G string up to the ninth fret, hitting that again, then to the B string eighth fret, back to that ninth fret of the G, and then back to the eighth fret of the B before going down one half step, and that's gonna land us right over the B7 chord, by the way. Very simple lick, but it's the approach that really gets me. It's really cool. Okay, so our solo thus far, parts number one, two, and three. One, two, three, four is one. Part number two. Part number three. Okay, checking out the last section. This one's gonna start off with a repeat of section number two. So it's gonna start off like this. All the same stuff, then it's gonna go into this. Alright, I know that looks complicated, sounds really cool, but um, trust me, it's not that tough. We're gonna get it down. Alright, so all we're doing there, starting off with section number two, it's gonna drop you off with. That's gonna get us into the new section, which will sound like this. So that's our first lick. We're sliding from the seventh fret of the D string up to the ninth fret, then harmonizing it with the seventh fret of the G string. Lots of vibrato. Then back to that D string ninth fret and shake. And he kind of taps that string a little bit until he can get himself into this little lick. All right, and there we're just going ninth fret of the D string twice, seventh fret of the G string, back to the ninth fret of the D string, then to the seventh fret of the G, so far we have, then to the root, that's the ninth fret of the G string. So far we have the new, sex, new stuff, new stuff, That's gonna launch us into a very familiar lick. It's gonna look like this. Put the whole thing together. Okay, so all we're doing there is we're taking the middle finger, sliding up half step slide up to the ninth fret of the G string, to the eighth fret of the B, to the 
10th fret of the B, big bend, then bend it back down to the 8th fret of the B string, then to the G string, 9th fret. Put all of those together. Alright, next we have a great little lick. This is probably the toughest sound in part. It's actually a very easy trick that you can start throwing into your solo. It sounds like this. So it's just a little chromatic line going from 8 to 9th to 10 on the B string to the high E string 7th fret and then back to the 10th fret of the B string to the 8th fret of the B string and then to the root for a little vibrato. Alright, so that whole section number 4 will sound like this starting from the repeat of section number 2. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on Doc Watson's Summertime. I got plenty more lessons coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe. I'm Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia, saying happy picking.